So I think we can all agree that the most important thing about your video, the content that you put out is the audio. A lot of people will watch a video with lower video quality, but if it's got bad audio, if the audio quality is lacking, most people will leave that video. So you definitely have to make sure that audio is up to par. But what if you are only filming on your iPhone? What are you gonna do? Are there options out there for good audio? There are, and in this video, I've got one we're gonna talk about. Is it good? We're gonna find out right after this. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Ken, the content coach. Once again, in this video, we are going to talk about audio, especially for those of you that are mostly using mobile devices for content creation. So if you're using your iPhone, this video is going to be perfect for you. So in this video, we are going to talk about the microphone. We'll unbox it. I'm going to give you a few of the key features. And then I actually have already filmed and I'll show you sort of a microphone test that I've done outside. So once again, we are talking about the Lee Real Wireless Lavalier Mic by Lee Winter. So that is the microphone. Let's do a quick unboxing. So as you open the box, you are gonna notice, first of all, a nice container. This is a hard shell container, protected very nicely in transit, so I do like that. As you open it, we have, first of all, a box which contains your charging cable and an earbud. We have the microphone itself. We'll come out, you see the Lee Real logo up front. The clip on the side, which rotates in all directions, clip on and off of your shirt and a wind guard that does detach. So you can take that off or use that if you want to. I do recommend using it, especially outdoors. And then we also have the wireless receiver that plugs into your iPhone with the lightning connector. So full time to charge is two hours. You will get four hours of use out of this so far. I have um, definitely gotten that. I have not had to plug it in and charge again. I've been through testing for a couple of hours. So the battery life does seem to be what they say. Now, as far as using it, here's the device, the phone, and you simply plug the receiver in and it's done again it's plug and play so you don't need an app you don't need bluetooth it is ready to go power button on the back of the microphone and we spin that around you see the green light now the power button also does a few more things for you so first of all the power button does activate three levels of noise cancellation in order to activate that all you do is press the power button so when you are when you first have the microphone on i'm going to press the power button one time and you should see an orange flash Okay, so we had one orange flash. One orange flash means that we are now on microphone noise cancellation level one. So that is level one. For the next two levels, again, there's three levels. We'll press it again. You're gonna see two flashes. Now we're in level two, so that's gonna take even more noise out. One more time. Three flashes means we are now in noise level cancellation three. So each level obviously takes out more noise. Now the power button also does a few more things. You can actually double click the button and you'll see the light go out. Now the microphone is muted. So a double click will mute the microphone. If I double click it again, we're back on. So that is muting and unmuting the mic. It also has reverb. So you can turn on reverb, which is the echoey sound, like if you're singing or something like that. So for reverb, we are going to click it three times. And what we should see is the light flash. So one, two, three. And there's a flash, so now we are in reverb, okay? I'm gonna triple click that again. Okay, and those are the features of the microphone. So um, nice features on this little microphone. Again, I do like the noise cancellation because I was able to use this in different situations. It does make it so that this is usable in all sort of different areas. You can take it outside, you can stay in your studio. This is designed to be able to use live. So Instagram lives, YouTube lives, pre-recorded video, anything that you're doing with your phone. Again, plug and play and it works. So at this point, what I'm going to do is actually film a portion of this. The next part of this video, you're going to see actually using this microphone. So we will do a sound test here in the studio, which is sound treated. And then we will go outside. We will do a little sound test outside. I've got a couple of different uh, demonstrations that I've done. I filmed yesterday, so you'll see that. And once that's all done, we will come back here for a conclusion, and I will give you my final thoughts. Okay, so welcome to the other side of the studio. Now this room, this is the other half that you normally see in videos. I am filming this on my iPhone 13 Pro Max using the Lee Real wireless lavalier mic. So I do have the mic set to level two as far as noise cancellation. Everything else is exactly as I showed you. I've got the mic clipped on to my string here because with the beard, it's kind of tough, but that should be about a good placement. So again, we are in my studio. It is sound treated. I've got panels up. 
So this is the studio that I've filmed videos in for a long time. If you go back to my old channel or even some of these, you've heard the sound coming out of the studio. So for comparison, that's what this is. So this portion of the video, I am going to edit in Final Cut Pro. So what you're hearing right now, still the same microphone on the same noise cancellation level, but edited. I'm, I'm going to add some compression, take some of the noise out, and see how this sounds between both. So depending on how this sounds, if you like the way this sounds, this may be a, a good microphone for you if you're doing a lot of filming with your iPhone. Now one more thing before we take it outside, this does have a range of 60 feet. So you are able to walk away from your phone and be 60 feet away. So at this point, you have heard the microphone in my studio, edited and unedited. Let's take the mic outside and see what it sounds like out there. Okay, so we are now live on location in sunny, warm, okay, snowy Kentucky. We're live on location in the backyard. We're gonna do a quick microphone test. Again, this microphone has a range of 60 feet according to the website. So we're gonna test that. I'm also gonna test out the three different noise cancellation levels to let you guys hear the difference in those because it is windy out here. We got traffic going by up front and it's, you know, it's a little bit noisy. So I wanna hear what that sounds like. We are starting with noise cancellation level one. So I'm gonna walk 60 feet. We wanna test the distance and we'll hear what this sounds like. Let's go. Okay, so this is 60 feet away. You probably can't see me too well, but hopefully you can still hear me. I've already done some testing on this. I have kind of marked this off pre ahead of time. So this is 60 feet. Again, noise cancellation level one. So again, windy, we got traffic up front. We are hearing the noises around us. How does it sound? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna walk back up. We will change to noise level two and do this again. Okay, so right back up with the camera. So let's change the microphone level to cancellation level two. Click the button. All right, we have two flashes. Let's try it out. Okay, so this is noise cancellation level two. We are hopefully gonna hear the noise level come down a little bit, some of the feedback, some of the extra noise, the hiss. So test this out. Again, I'm gonna walk 60 feet. We'll test it out. Be right back with you. Okay, so here we go, 60 feet at noise cancellation level two. Let's see what the difference is. Again, I'm not gonna edit any of this, so you're hearing this exactly as it came from the microphone to the camera, which is an iPhone 13. Noise cancellation level two, how's it sound? Let me know level two in the comments what you think. Is there a big difference between this and level one? Let's try level three now. Okay, so right back up by the phone, we are only a few feet away again. Let's go to number three. Okay, now we're at level three. We're gonna do the same thing all over again, but just standing by the camera, you're hopefully hearing my voice even more clear, more background noise being taken out. This should sound pretty good by what I've tested so far. Let's take a walk one more time. Okay, so we are now 60 feet away at level three. This should sound, I mean, this is gonna be, according to the website, we have gone down to the very best sound you can get out of this microphone. So you're hearing that now from 60 feet away. Again, in the comments, let me know level three, 60 feet. What do you think of the sound? How does it sound to you? Let's finish up. Okay, so now we are back right in front of the camera. Uh, just Again, a few feet away. So this is level three. This should be really, really clear sound. Again, let me know in the comments what you think, but we're now gonna go and do a edited form. I'm gonna turn the camera, we'll get some different scenery, and I'm gonna film a little bit more audio. I will edit this audio in Final Cut Pro in post. So let's go. Okay, so this is the microphone with no cancellation turned on. This is straight powered on. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. And again, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go back and edit this and post so you can hear what edited audio would sound like from this microphone. So let's walk around for a minute. One thing I did notice when I was testing this before is that as I was walking around, I could hear some movement from the microphone. And so that is that would be one little minor complaint that I have about the microphone. From what I can tell so far, you would have to be kind of stationary when you're using this, but we'll hear if it happens here. I'm kind of moving around a little more slow, I'm not doing too much action, just kind of walking around. So this is what we're hearing. We got wind noise. We got birds in the distance. No traffic right now. Of course, when you want traffic, it's not going by, right? That's just how it works. So this is it. This is the edited audio using the Lee Winter wireless lavalier microphone. Let me know what you think again for all these sounds down in the comments. Let's go inside for a final wrap up. 
I'll give you my conclusion, my recommendation for this microphone, and we will be out of here. Okay, so at this point in the video, we have seen all the technical specs. We have heard what it sounds like inside, outside, edited, unedited. Almost every scenario that you may use this microphone, we have heard. So at this point in the video, is this a microphone that I would recommend for you? That is going to depend on your use case. Now, if you're somebody that does all of your content creation on a phone, you definitely may see this mic as a good option. This may be a good option for you to pick up. The reason I say that is because when it comes to filming on a phone, 99% of the time, almost in every situation, you are going to want an external microphone connected directly to your phone instead of using the onboard microphone. Now, are there better options out there than this mic? Yes, there are. But if you look at your budget, if you look at the price point of this mic, for the price point of this microphone, it is a good microphone. It sounds good. It has great features as far as noise cancellation, mute. It has almost everything that you need in a microphone. And the beauty of this one is that it does have that 60 feet range. So if you are not necessarily stationary, then you can move around, you can be back from your phone, and you're still gonna get that same great sound that you would if you were right up next to it. Now, if that's your use case, I think it would be great. If that's not your use case, if you're indoors, if you are not using your mobile device all the time, then there may be better options out there. One other thing I wanna bring up too about this mic is that actually while I was filming this review, I was going to clip this on to get ready to film the, the part over there, my other part of my studio, and the clip actually broke on it. So, um, you know, let's see if I can show you this. So the clip itself, the little nub that holds it in there, it, it broke. So it's hanging on, but you have to be real careful with it. So, you know, I'm a little nervous about that quality being what that is. You may want to think about that. That could have been a fluke with this one, who knows, but it did happen. So I wanted to share that, but that's my experience. Overall, I'm happy with this microphone. I do think it sounds good. So all that being said, that is my review for the Lee Real wireless lavalier microphone. I hope you found some value in this. If you have any questions, anything that I was not able to answer, please make sure you drop it down in the comments below and I will answer that. I'll do my best to get an answer. Hopefully this has helped you. If you are into this type of content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button, ring the bell next to it so that you will know every time a video comes out. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you have a great week. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Just hit record. We'll see you with the next one.